some time ago, I participated at a two-week game jam, and the game turned out pretty nice, so naturally I thought, let's release the game on Steam. How long can it take? Right? I mean, it took me only two weeks. So, the idea of the game is basically this. You are a nurturer, and you use your arrows to solve puzzles, and use fire arrows to see in the dark, because the game will take place, well, at night. Simple enough. So, like any average game developer, I opened up Visual Studio and started to code my game in C++ with Snow Engine and using my own rendering library. For the art, I thought I'll make my own art, because how hard can it be? Like, I mean, I took art class. So, it looked so bad that the guy that I was working with at that time almost gave up the project. But hey, at least I can change the settings and make him go brrrr. But, later, he actually saved it by finding this nice art online. Our art. But seriously, you should check out this guy, link is in the description, he has some very nice art, you can probably recognize this Mario tile set that I used in my game engine video, so go check out Adam Salzman. So after I took the art for the game, I added some simple four-frame animations to it and added some more tiles in the original art style. And then I tried to make the character in Photoshop. Wait though, is it just me or this character is looking kind of sus? And now unlike my mental sanity, things were looking pretty good. Now, because I want the game to take place in the dark, I wanted to make a light system. Like this one I found, where the lights hit the geometry and cast some nice shadows. But this system is for smart boys. And I so I made Minecraft style lights, where light values start at the torch and decrease in value for every block it travels. I also added this nice specular reflection using some mana. And now the game looks pretty nice, unlike my mental sanity. Now, the game being coded in C++, you bet that the map is stored in a big to the array, but I couldn't just type numbers here to make a level, that, that wouldn't be a good idea, right? No, no, seriously, this is probably the only good decision that I took while making this game. I made a level editor. Here you can. Place blocks, delete blocks, and even select blocks. This is rocket technology for someone that doesn't have a unit editor by default, you know? The only thing left is music, and luckily, after searching for a while, I found this guy on the internet, called Our Music Box. Huh. How convenient. So, I managed to finish the game jam with 4 levels and even an extra secret level. Thanks for our demo. We'll be releasing a full version soon. Huh. That would have been convenient. Okay, so what are the main mechanics of the game? So, we have regular arrows. Arrows that go boing. Fire arrows. It is kinda cool when you shoot them underwater. Wait, why the f do they work underwater? And also, key arrows that you shoot to open locks. I don't know what was in my head. And this was pretty much it. Now, in order to release the full version of the game, I just had to polish the game and add some new mechanics and make some levels. How long can it take? Now, when the game will be ready, if I want people to see my game on Steam, I need, well, people to see it on Steam. Um, let me explain. So, Steam looks at your game to see if people are interested in it, and if so, it will show it to more people. And this is why you should wishlist my game on Steam. So, I talked to a friend that already has this nice game on Steam called Palm Ride. If you are interested, link is in the description. It has this nice pseudo 3D effect and I'll talk about it in a future video. So, I asked him if he can tell people from his community about my game. So. Let's see how it went. Wait, 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 what's that? Oh no, not that. This. Oh oh you didn't you didn't know I you didn't know I have a Discord server? <laughs> well, well, come join our Discord server. Here you can ask questions about programming and also take part in the development of Midnight Arrow with feedback and ideas. And I will also be giving away Steam keys. Probably make some live coding sessions from time to time, so make sure to check it out. So, levels are time consuming and all to make, but you know, I just have to not touch grass for a few days and we should be good. But you know what's more important than levels? Wait, was that? Yes, yes, gameplay, because I sure don't have any at the moment. All you do is just hop around and shoot arrows, which is, you know, kinda boring. So, I don't want to spoil the whole game by telling you about all the things that I added, but I'll tell you, for example, that I added these small bastards that don't kill you, but definitely push you to your death if you don't pay attention. 
at some point in time I wanted to add a little story to the game, you know, something. So for that I added Burb, um, because Burb, and ended up removing it sadly. But back uh, when it was still in the game, there was this part that one friend of mine really, really didn't like, where you have to get home and the Burb comes around and tells you that he set up a parkour course through the sewers of your house. And I really don't see why though, like, this is something that I do every day. And so this is the story of the game that consumed three years of my life. It will be ready soon, so make sure to wish this it on Steam because it will really help the algorithm and I'm just a small indie dev, so I need all the help I can get. Now let's take a look at the trailer that fortunately consumed only one week of my life. 